Hello guys, today we are going to show you how to install FideOS along with Windows 10. So to download uh, FideOS, we need to go to the Google and search for FideOS. Click on the first link. Scroll down and click on download button. It will give you three options to download and you have to download according to your processor generation. There are three types, third generation to seventh, eighth to twelfth and for AMD processors. So in order to find your processors generation, you need to go to my computer and go to properties and look for the processor model number. Note down the model number and then go back to Google. Now we are going to search about this processor. What generation is it? Okay, now as you can see that it is 10th generation Intel Core i7 processor. So we are going to download the middle one. As I have already downloaded the FideOS, so I am not going to download again. Now we need a tool to burn to USB and for that we are going to search for Rufus. Look for the download button and download Rufus for your PC. I have already downloaded so I'm not going to download again. Now you need to go to the Rufus software. Plug in the USB and open Rufus. Now select your USB and look for the FideOS image you have just downloaded. Click open and then just click on the start button. Give it some minutes. Now we need to create a partition for FideOS and for that I am going to shrink my C drive into a new partition using the disk management tool of Windows 10. Right click on the disk and shrink volume. Enter the amount in megabytes of which you want to create the partition. I am going to use a different tool as because uh, there are files in my SSD which cannot be uh, shrink uh, by Windows Disk Management. So I am using Ease as Partition Manager to do that. And you can see I have shrunk down the partition to 30 GB. Now I am going to wipe and format as NTFS. Now we are going to boot from USB but before that make sure the secure boot is disabled. So to boot in the BIOS Press escape or F1 button. Go to boot bio setup. Go to security and look for 
uh, secure boot configuration and make sure it is unchecked this and disabled and go back and save changes and exit now again press F9 to go into boot menu and to boot from USB keep pressing F9 until you see the boot menu now select USB drive select your language and click OK Uh, make sure it, you are going to install Fido S and not try and make sure you click on multi board installation as you have to dual boot your OS with Windows 10. Select the target partition, the one which, which you just created. Select the EFI partition and choose the first one. Now select the bootloader and uh, choose the recommended option. Click next. Ok, click on shutdown. Due to some compatibility issues, the boot menu did not work and uh, uh, I could not uh, be able to, you know, uh, select uh, uh, 5OS and Windows 10 from the boot menu. But uh, it may not happen to you, so you don't worry. But if it does happen, then you just need to boot into um, boot menu and just uh, do what I am going to do. As you can see right now I am in Windows 10 so I am going to restart my computer and uh, I am going to press F9 to go into the boot menu. Ok, I am going to enter into the boot menu. Ok, now you need to select boot from file and then you need to select the partition which holds the EFI folder just like this and then enter on EFI folder scroll down and hit enter on FIDOS and then hit enter on bootx64.efi and your PC will boot into FIDOS normally now we are inside the FIDOS so we are going to set it up I am going to sign in with Google account now we are going to choose the theme for Fire OS I am going to keep it on auto Uncheck both of these and click get started. Now click on the pop up down below to activate the Android subsystem. Check the box and click. Ok, now you can see that your Android is here and its settings with Android 9. Now we can check other apps like Google Chrome where you can browse internet and uh, there is also a file manager for Chrome OS 
and now in the next step we need uh, a play store to be installed on the system so for that we are going to click on the start button and click on uh, a store fido a store and uh, then click on configure open g apps and then click on add button and then click on add now open app check the box and click install after installing open gs it will ask you to reboot your system so for that you just have to reboot your computer and the play store will be there after that I'm going to reboot my PC now. Give it a couple of minutes and the Play Store will appear. As you can see the Play Store, play store is here now and you can sign in with your google id and install android apps natively on this system and they will not be emulated if you want to keep the windows 10 on default boot means that if you turn on your pc and it automatically boots into windows 10 then you need to follow some steps so uh, next time when you turn on your pc it will automatically boot into windows 10 but if you want to open Fido OS, then you will boot from the boot menu as I have told, told you before. So now we are going to the BIOS setup to change the boot entry. Again press F1 or escape while booting to go into the BIOS setup. Now hit enter on BIOS setup. Go to advanced and up, go to boot options. And you will see that in your boot order, there will be REFIND boot manager and on the second number, there will be SATA 2. What you have to do is to make sure that Windows boot manager is on the top and REFIND boot manager is on the second. Press enter and change those and hit F10 and save changes and exit. Now your computer will boot into Windows 10 automatically. And if you want to open FIDOS, just keep pressing F9 and boot from EFI file.